Hi, how are you? I hope that everyone is doing well this week and that everyone was able to stay nice and warm. Uh, the weather has been rather chilly and I hope that you guys are all doing well with it. Uh, this week our uh, weekly skill is going to be focused on the word initiative. Um, initiative is something that we hear a lot when we are looking for jobs, when we are uh, looking into finding out what our employment skills are and uh, finding out a little bit about what our strengths and uh, weaknesses are in those areas there. Um, when looking at employment and talking to employers, they think that when you are an employee of theirs and you whether or not you show initiative is one of the top five things that they look for in an employee. So we're going to talk a little bit about what initiative is and kind of figure out what your skills are with initiative. So if you ask somebody what initiative means, um, initiative means being a person that can come up with ideas, being a person that can do things often before we are asked. Um, initiative is related to a word like um, in, ignite, initiate, um, and start um, is a good way for us to kind of remember what that word kind of means. Um, because when you are showing initiative and um, having that initiative skill, you are working on getting things started, um, you're doing things on your own. Uh, sometimes we hear the word self-starter. Those are some words that you might hear. Self-starter, uh, they're very proactive. Maybe you're somebody that um, is very self-motivated and you can do things on your own. Um, so these are all things that we hear about when employers are looking for you to possibly be an employee of theirs. So simply put, um, initiative is being a person that can do things, start things, take care of things, often without even being asked or before being asked. So what does initiative look like? Well, initiative is going to look like you have some determination. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to imagine what it looks like. Um, but we're going to kind of take a look at some different examples and stuff and talk about what that would look like through communication and through some of those skills. So um, one way that we can kind of see initiative is if somebody wants to go ahead and take on a leadership role. So maybe where you are working at or whatever situation you are in, you are part of a team and you are the one that or this person that's showing initiative is the one that kind of steps up, takes that leadership role in that team. Uh, they're the person that wants to uh, get to help everybody get everything done. They're the ones that take that uh, leadership role and um, maybe assigns jobs for other people or helps them make sure that they get their things done too. But they're taking that initiative and they're leading that team. They're being that leader and um, helping others to be able to obtain and have that success as well too. Um, being that leader is sometimes a hard thing to do. So maybe you're wondering, well, I feel like I have initiative, but I don't want to lead a team. I'm just not um, comfortable being in charge of other people like that. So that's okay. There's so many other ways that you can show initiative as well. Maybe you're a little bit more of a quiet person and you don't want to have to lead that group, but you have lots of really cool ideas, lots of things that you think might make your job a little bit easier, maybe things that you could do that would make your job more efficient or run better. Um, maybe you have ideas of new things to try and speak up. Show that confidence in yourself. You know, you don't have to take on that leadership role of other people. Just make sure that your voice is being heard. Um, share your ideas. Tell your ideas. Um, show that you are confident in what you are doing and confident in what you know. Um, a lot of times maybe um, just putting those things into practice, meaning if you think that um, if you're helping out with uh, cleaning tables and uh, maybe you have a certain routine that you do where you wash certain ones and then you move to the next one and the next one. Well, maybe you thought, you know, maybe if we change this up and we try it a little different way, it could go a lot quicker. Show that initiative. Take that step. Try it out. Um, people will see what you're doing and people will notice. 
um, if it helps to maybe reduce that time, um, helps you guys to get things done quicker, um, showing that initiative and being confident in the skills that you have and the knowledge that you have will help to show that you are being in, showing that initiative as well. So why is that important to an employer? Why would that be important to your boss? Well, would you, if you were a boss and you had people that were working for you, would you rather have an employee that does their job well, but only when they're told to, um, only when they're given exactly what they should be doing that day? Or would you want somebody who understands their job and does their job well, but kind of goes above and beyond? takes what they're supposed to be doing and does a little bit extra, does a little bit more to be helpful to others, to be helpful to themselves, to be helpful to their boss. Um, they know what they have to do. Their stuff is still getting done. They're just able to take it a little bit more. Um, employers do love to see that initiative skill um, because it means that you, as the person working for them, is striving to do the best that you can do at your job. It shows that you are always wanting to grow, always wanting to learn, always wanting to work really, really hard at what you are doing and, and how you are doing at that job. You know, if you have been working at a place for a long time, we kind of get in a rut, um, not a bad rut, but we kind of get set in the way that we're doing things, and we continue to do those same things over and over. Well, you're still getting your job done, you're doing a great job at your, or you're getting your job done, and you're doing a great job at it, but maybe now there's some things that you can kind of step outside the box and do something else and really bring more notice to the work that you're doing. Um, it's showing that you're you're curious about your job. You want to keep that job. You want to continue growing in that job. Um, and then it could even help you to move up if that's a goal of yours as well, too. Um, sometimes showing that initiative can be hard. It's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of experience as you get there. So now try to figure out, do you have initiative? So it's not something that you really have or don't have. It's something... Oh, excuse me, that you can show to other people. You may use those skills all the time. Um, it might come a little bit easier to you when you are doing something that you're more passionate about, something that you have really strong feelings for, and something that you really, really um, can connect to. If it doesn't mean a whole lot to you, then maybe you're not really showing as much initiative as, as if it was something that meant a lot to you. So make sure that you're finding something that you're passionate about. Make sure that you're finding something that you really enjoy doing and making that extra step to strive um, to be even better and to continue to grow in those different ways there. Um, something that we're going to kind of take a look at too is how can you get better at your initiative skills. Um, so maybe you don't think that you have any ideas to share. Or maybe you're happy with the way that things are and, and you'd rather just leave the harder stuff to other people. Well, you know, next time that you're at work or even something at home or working on a group project or... Oh, excuse me, or being a part of your group or club, try thinking about that bigger picture. Just try it one time. See what you can find out. See what happens when you really think about what that bigger picture is or what more could happen. When you think this way, then it's a little bit easier for you to reach that goal, for you to see what else might be able to be done, what else you could do to take that extra step of initiative. So, let's find out how we can or how we can show that. So, they're coming up with you're coming up with ideas. So maybe now you need to figure out how can you let your employer know that you are Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm kind of tired today, apparently. Um, how you can show your employer that you have that initiative and you're ready to work really hard. Okay? Be a self-starter. If there's something that you need to get to when you get to work in the morning or in the afternoon, wherever you start your shift, don't wait for somebody to say, Hey, can you help me with this? Or, okay, there's those tables we got to get washing. Or, those are some things that we need to get stocked. Go do it. You know what's expected of you. 
Get to work. Get started right away. Show that initiative. Show that you're ready to go. You're a self-starter. You're here and you're ready to work. So, even if it's not a requirement, maybe you have what you're supposed to do. Um, being that self-starter gets you started. Then maybe if there's some things that are not required of you to do, but you have the time to do them, take a look at those. Do a couple of them. That's showing that even though you're only required to do this, you're willing to step up and you're willing to do this. So you are showing that no matter what is put on your plate, you're ready for the challenge. You're ready to step up and to accept that. So here's some examples of showing some initiative. So since employers love initiative, it's, be, it's very important to be able to tell them that oh, you're able to demonstrate that. So you work in a shop and you notice that certain products sell best at particular times of the year. Okay, so what can you do to show some initiative? Maybe you could create a display for seasonal items by the checkout. Maybe you could even come up with um, a different kind of system to help display other items that are popular at different times of the year. So if you know that it's going to be winter time and you know that in the winter time these certain items maybe sell better, get them out. Show them. Showcase them. Step up and show that initiative that you can help to increase those sales. Maybe one of your colleagues or somebody that you're working with is struggling to set up a laptop and a projector before you have to get ready for your meeting. Now you know how to set up that projector and you've done it before. So maybe what you can do is you can go and set, set that up. Set it up yourself or maybe if that's the person that has to set it up, help them. Offer your assistance. Tell them what you know and have them let you help them. You're showing that initiative that you can help set things up before that meeting is able to start. Maybe after the meeting is over and everybody starts heading back to their, to their offices or their desks or wherever they need to go back home, you notice that the room is really messy. What can you do to show initiative? Pick it up. We all are in different areas. Uh, when we're at a meeting, when we go to work, when we leave... Pick up the the mess. Make it look tidy. You know, that's not something that is expected of you, but it's something that's, one, showing initiative, and two, is awfully kind to the other people. Help them out. Pick it all up. Um, you work in a call center, and you notice that there are certain calls that come up again and again and again that people are really struggling with. You've had these calls, and you know how to handle them. You've answered those questions many times. How can you show initiative? Maybe you can make a cheat sheet. Make a sheet up that will help give other employees the information that you know to help them handle those calls that are coming in. And lastly, you work for a charity and you and your colleagues are each stuffing envelopes with different fact sheets and leaflets and information about uh, different charities and stuff. And then, as you're working, you realize that it would be much quicker to, pr to create a production line and organize your colleagues to do this. You were all working on the same task. You were all getting it completed, and you were all being successful. But you had an idea that maybe if you were to set up like an assembly line where each person has a different job and you send your envelopes down, that it might go a little quicker. Let them know. Show that initiative and say, hey, I have an idea. Do all the ideas work out all the time? No. But if you're showing that you have ideas and that you're willing to try those ideas out, that shows a lot. And employers are always looking for you to step up and take that initiative. So to kind of close out, what is initiative? Initiative is that ability to get started. Being a self-starter, self-motivating. You're, you're doing tasks without being asked to do them. So you're doing things before you're told. You're showing how you can be a team leader, how you can help other people to be successful as well. Being that team player and leading that team is important. And you're also demonstrating confidence. The confidence in yourself and the confidence that you have in your job also help to show initiative. And also remember, all of these skills are really good when you're working at your job, but initiative is also really good in our everyday lives. Initiative helps to motivate you. So here's my question I leave you with. How can you motivate yourself? Bye.
Have a great week.